Hey, hey, hello everybody. Um, back again. Look at me, getting quite good at this. <laughs> Turning up on a regular basis. Um, hello, we're going to do something a bit different today. We're going to, still working on my spring stuff. Um, you will get to see the journals that are going in, hopefully shortly, because Dave's digitals are almost ready to go. So, I showed you in one of my other videos the envelopes that I'd been playing with, that I'd made, and today I'm going to turn them into window envelopes. So, I'm going to put windows in all of them, different shape windows, um, and I'm just going to show you how I do it so that you can play along if you so wish so let's get going i think i've surrounded myself with everything i need i think but no doubt there'll be something some at some point i'll have to get up and go and find something so um right let's crack on envelopes so i've got all these envelopes that are stamped that i showed in a previous video there's two what am I going to do? I'm going to put different shaped windows in them all. Try and keep the design and not cut lots of it off. And for that, I'm using, it's just a plate, well, it's actually a Mensa card, but it's essentially a plain card. So it's got a nice edge on it. Um, I'm just going to draw around it, but not that, say, not that, 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 not that shape, if that makes sense. So on this one, because I want to keep that design, I'm going to make a long, thin window. Okay, yeah, trusty pencil. And I'm literally just drawing round. I'm shifting it down so I can try and get... Ooh, it's more difficult when you've got a camera looking at you. <laughs> I'm usually above it rather than off to the side of it. Yeah, try and get it more or less equal. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. We're not looking for perfection here. And then, oh, put it up next to the design because I don't want to lose any of my stamping. And just draw around it. And draw around it. Oh, down a bit. So I get my nice curved edges. And that bit is going to come out and be my window. So that's that one. On this one, I want it to be up here. So, again, I'm just going to line it where I think I want it to be. Draw around it. Oh. Get the nice curves. I like the nice curved edge to it. That's the bit that I like. Turn around. I've still got all my tape marks on the desk, so hopefully. All of this is in camera. And then go round and do that last corner. Oh, there we go. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. But, I've uh, done that one already, and that's cut off a bit of the design, but chose to. Same with that one, and cut off a bit of the design because the design takes over most of the page. But we'll keep going. I don't know how many we'll get done, but we'll do what we can. As always, this one's going to have a big window on it, I think. So, don't look about. In fact, if we do that, put it on the line and make it look straight. It might be straight. <laughs> I'm not promising it's going to be perfect, but hey, we'll get there. And round. And then, at this end, again, just move my card along, so I keep my design. I'm going to turn it this way, because this is going to take up most of it. There we go. Draw around. And then try and match those two up. Oop, and make the corner meet. Et voila. That's going to be a big one. And then this one. I'm going to 
And the thing is, they don't have to be. I might do a funky shaped one on this one. Watch this. Da 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 da. And down and round. Oh yeah, let's do a funky shaped one. Just because we can. Let's go up. And then on this one, I'm going to take this round and draw around my card. And then I'm going to put my card here so they get the curve going the other way. Ooh, that line's not very straight. Is that? Let's go up a bit. There we go. So we're going to have a funky shaped one on that one. Can you see? Can you see? You can. And then again, we've got a couple that I'd already put the boxes on and these can once you've cut them out they can just be rubbed out then and do you know what because that's on the other side let's do another funky shaped one just because we can and essentially is that look straight yeah um you can make them any shape you want you can draw around circles I like drawing around these cards because they've got nice curved edges on them and because they've got a nice weight to them so they're let me turn that way. they're um they're easy to draw around line it up that way oh, and i'm going to go around and on this one i'm going to line it up against that bottom line go in a bit that top line and I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and line those two lines up from the outside and I'm going to go around and voila so another funny shaped one mm. I've already done a box on that one let's have a look at this this one I think I'm just going to do a big box like that oh no should try that again <laughs> without moving the card that's clever it's a good start something had to go wrong somewhere didn't it it couldn't all be smooth sailing it's all the way around that there we go and that's that one and then I'm going to take my trusties and we'll start cutting them out this is the fun bit so you kind of have to be a bit careful not when you first start, just get your scissors in there. And I just hook my finger in and off I go. And this is one of those, use the scissors of your preference. For this, I prefer little ones for going around my curve. So I just think, for me it makes life easier, but you know. I know there'll be people out there who prefer humongouses and I just put my fingers behind it as much as I can because it stops me cutting in fact, I'll do it from the back it stops me cutting the bit of the envelope off because I want to keep the back bit so oops, there we go and Down and round, down and round. There we go. And again, don't have to be perfect. You know, the whole point of these is handmade envelopes. Trying to jump again, also, we are not looking for perfection. Round and round and round. For anyone that's not seen, oh, I showed these in one of my stash busting videos. There are ones that I'd stamped when I was that I'd stamped when I was um, uh, can't think. Oh, when I was first started showing my stash busting stuff, and I was colouring papers and things like that. So go back and watch one of the stash busters. I think it's stash buster. I want to say two, stash busting two. Um, oh no, maybe three, stash busting three actually. I showed them at the beginning of that. 
God, I had to think about that. It's what happens, you know? You get into the swing of making videos, and then you can't remember which one's which, and what's what, and which one's where, and how and who and when, and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's just... I mean, much as I'm digging out a big chunk of... It would now, this one, this one could be a bit more difficult. Not just I'm pulling out a big chunk by sticking my scissors in. I'm going to keep all these bits. Because they'll go in a collage somewhere. I like the colours. They fit my spring theme. Turn that round. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm sure we can all sort of follow lines. And it's up to you whether you choose to cut inside or outside the line. <laughs> right, this is, be, this is going to be an interesting one because it feels like it's awkward. It's on the wrong side. There we go. And round and down. Yeah, that feels like it's on the wrong side. So I'm going to put my scissors through here and I'm going to do that top bit fingers in and you know it's a little bit fiddly but it's part of the fun the challenge of doing it in it down we go fingers behind so I don't cut the back off go around and my curve Can you tell I'm concentrating? <laughs> Can't talk, concentrating. There we go. Now that flaps out of the way, it makes life a bit easier. So yes, you just have to work out if it's a funky shaped one you're doing. How to take the bit out that gets in the way. That makes it awkward. There we go, it's another one. And, you know, we'll get there, we'll sort those bits out. And then, another one. I'm just going to keep going. I just have to watch me coin. <laughs> it's what we do. It's part of the process. Pay attention. <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope you're all well. I hope everybody's crafting actually. It's um, wow, it's a day. Sunday afternoon. So it's um, it's a perfect day for crafting. Sunday afternoon. It's still not at work, so I'm not back for a week or so. And for, thank you for all the nice wishes about my lovely wrists, which I showed you by accident, <laughs> by pulling up my sleeves. Um, I'm all good. I am all good. Trust me. It's just my job, and it's one of the, it's one of the hazards. And it's rare, it's very rare, thankfully. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I do what I do, and I love what I do, and I wouldn't change it for the world. So, it's just very occasional. And like I said, I'm really lucky. That's the first serious thing that's happened to me in six years. Five years, six years, something like that. So... So I am very lucky. No, I am usually the calm one that everybody comes to when people are in crisis, when kids are in crisis. And I have good relationships. I have good relationships with the young man who did what he did. He just, you know, he wanted to go home. And it was the only way he knew of telling me that he wanted to go home. And I'll go back. I'll go back on the 14th, I think. And probably have him again, work with him again, without any issues. Because usually there aren't. So, that's another weird shaped one. That's, so yeah, thank you for all the, the nice wishes. 
it was much appreciated even if um, I hadn't planned on it <laughs> so, and it was just that it's just that habit of you get to a certain point and you hike up your sleeves and you can crack on and do a bit um, and what else was I going to talk about oh yeah so somebody made a comment about the or message me about the the coughing fit in the middle of it all. The other thing you need to realise, or that you should all know, is for those of you who know that Mr. Dave Dash of we call him Dash for short. <laughs> um, Dave had COVID before Christmas and over Christmas, and whilst I tested negative, we're pretty sure that I did too. We were both sick at the same time both had the same symptoms um, and then and we tested we tested regularly we tested using the same kit the same box so it's the same batch um, I literally came out negative every time he came out positive every time and yet we were both sick we both had the same symptoms and we've both been left with this hacking horrible chest stick off that every now and again just gets uncontrollably out of control <coughs> like that <coughs> usually <coughs> oh there you go i'm talking about it so it's happening usually um on camera strangely <laughs> whenever you tell them to do it it seems to happen which is annoying um but yeah, it's just one of those things. Covid's one of those things that we're all learning to live with, I guess. And, you know, if there are some long-term side effects, and if that means I'm chesty for a while, then oh, I'm chesty for a while. I look after myself. Other than that, um, I never used to get enough sleep and now I get way too much sleep <laughs> which makes Dave happier he's learning to live with less sleep <laughs> now he's got a vic in his life <laughs> and I'm learning to <laughs> and I'm learning to sleep a lot more because I never used to now I love my sleep 12 hours Ooh, no problem uh, 10 hours mm, no problem <laughs> so yeah swap for this he wants more I've got more. But hey, such is life. You know? What do they call it? A new normal. <laughs> this is a new normal. We crack on and we get on with it. So. Ooh, there we go. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Whilst I'm cutting because it's not the not the most interesting bit you know i'm going to leave that uh, uh, like i said handmade we're not looking for perfection we're looking for beautiful handmade and yeah uh, if you're doing this like i said you use whatever scissors you're most comfortable with i have big scissors little scissors all sorts of scissors, hundreds of pairs of scissors, sticky scissors, non-sticky scissors, Tim Holtz scissors, non-Tim Holtz scissors. <laughs> Dave bought me a big Tim Holtz pair for Christmas, which I love. Um, but they're not allowed to get sticky yet. I've not had them long enough. They're not quite. I'm not quite as reverential about them as Dave. They don't get that. Oh, whenever you get them out, but. They do, um, they do get looked after. They're still in there. They still have their plastic holder of the blades, and they don't, they don't go near glue. They're not allowed near glue. But, uh, last couple. Here we go. What was I talking about in my last video? 
What were we talking about? I kind of do my biography, wasn't I? <laughs> I know Christina wanted to know stuff. Yeah. Um, and I was kind of talking about how I became, or why, or what the creative thing comes from. So you kind of know a bit about that. I just have always been encouraged to be from a family that weren't really, apart from my grandmother. Who knitted furiously. <laughs> She had like, what were those, 10 grandkids, 10 grandsons. So, Christmas, Christmas was an audio, I was trying to make 10, 10 jumpers. <laughs> five of us. And then five, five cousins on that side of the family, all male. So, all grown up now, all happily grown up with them. Um, Hundreds of little ones running around, which keeps my aunts very happy. Yeah. Um, and even my brothers and my brothers are all. My eldest brother has two, both of whom are grown up and have two of their own each. Um, and then My next brother down has five that I'm aware of. <laughs> My next brother down from that has three, four, and then my youngest brother has three. <laughs> There's lots of them. <laughs> don't ask me, don't ask me to give you their names. Um, really, don't. <laughs> that take a while. I, I could, I, I probably could, but, um, it would take me a while to work it out. Whose is whose? Um, right, I want. Well, do you know when? Do you know when? I, ah, there it is. Do you know when I said I'm all organised and brought everything? <laughs> so, well, I didn't. I lied. I forgot a few bits. So I just need to get a rubber. Ooh, there we go. And then we can take off some of the bits. There we go. We've um. I'm just taking off some of the bits where, luckily it was a, I don't know, let's have a look, it was a, uh, a sketch in 6B, so a really soft pencil, so, easy to take any marks off, and then, because I like to, I'm just going to imp around those edges, take the whitey whitey whiteness off it. And it doesn't actually matter if you get ink on the back bit because we're going to put something on the back bit and cover it up. And it'll also give us the bit that we're missing, hopefully. And that one. So we'll put this round. See, this is the bit where people that edit normally go, I'll just go in and see. Not a hope. You're going to have to sit and watch, sorry. I'm just getting to the stage where I'm producing videos again, <laughs> learning how to um, edit. That's a whole other ball game. We'll get there one day. One day. One day. But um, not at the moment. At the moment, I'm trying to just fill some content, show you what I do, let you see the different things I make. Hopefully soon show you some spring journals. <laughs> That's my next plan, just to show you some spring journals. Well, it won't be till Dave's released his kits, but once his kits are released and out there in the public domain for all to see, I will um, show you. Let's take a bit off. I will show you my spring journals. And oh, and I've got one to show you from Joey the card maker as well, because I'm using one of his kits, which I really like, which is it's floral botanical 
not necessarily spring, but it's got some of my spring things in, so I'm calling it spring. But again, all will be revealed. Uh, and you know, the inking's not perfect, but it just takes off that white edge because we're going to put. Oop, we're going to put tracing paper in this in this window or vellum. You can use vellum. You can use ask. You use anything you've got. I have some really nice tracing paper. That I have a stack of a big stack of, and I'm going to use that. So that's my plan. So what else? What else do you need to know? Who knows? I'm sure somebody will ask questions at some point. Um, oh, Erica, are you trying to get hold of me? I am going to email you now that you've sent me an address. But um. My email address is in there. When you look at the about, <laughs> it's at the bottom of that list. So it's like Instagram, Pinterest, and then the bottom one. It's not got a link you can click on, but that's my email address down the bottom there. Um, but anyway, by the time you watch this, I'll have emailed you anyway. So we'll be all sorted. We'll be we'll be in touch. We'll talk. We'll talk. Don't worry. It'll all be sorted. So, so yeah, inking, inking. Isn't this usually where Gail inks and thinks? But it just, for me, it just takes off that white edge. Oh, almost there. A couple more. And around. And it's the, it's, more than anything, it's the corners that experience because I made a prototype I made which I'm not going to show you because that's cheating <laughs> but <laughs> and actually I've stuck it in a journal already um, it's the corners where the white shows up once you put the vellum in or the tracing paper in so they're the bits that I'm worried about more than anything there we go done done and the corners tend to be when the pencil shows up, but that's just me. Anyway, there we go. Cool. So I now have. I'm going to put backs in first, and again, I'm going to use. I've got this paper that in my stash footing video. If you watched me, you watched me do. I'm going to see if that fits. Nope. And so I'm going to take a bit off. should fit nicely hopefully yep so that should now oops, should now try that again Ta -da! just slide in there move it over a bit and then I can Take that to the field. Take it to the field. And fold that over. Nope, it should go down a bit more than that, but we will. So, look, it's taken me about three minutes <laughs> to get to the stage where. I've no room on my desk. I started off beautiful, lovely piles of everything, everything in the right place. But no, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? There we go. Step one. And then, for this, what made it easiest was took me out of glitter glue. Oh, no, white glue. Any glue you've got, basically. it over I just did this because it literally just needs sticking down the edge now 
know a little bit went over, so I'm just gonna wipe that edge. But because you've done that top edge, it just becomes part of the back now. It ain't going nowhere. So I know it's gonna go down there because you've you've glued to that edge. So that's that. No. Number one. No. It's not finished yet. And then I have this. It's a really a really nice weight tracing paper. And all I'm gonna do with this is make this almost the full size again. There we go. Rubbish bit of folding, but should we because we've got so much in fact let's move these out of the way because that's probably all you're looking at isn't it there we go the there that's better so I'll straighten that up uh, field it and you're not going to see these edges because it's going to be inside so check a ruler through it Ha 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 And then And again, if you do almost the whole size of it, then when you put it in and glue it down, it becomes part of the page. So I'm going to put it in the front of that. It's the fun bit, getting it in and over that lip. In, in, tie it down, make sure it's all the way in. The envelope still closes. Looky, looky. And then again with this one, that glitter glue or wet glue, or you no, know, just need something with a pointy end. Is it for the just go around the edge of my window and round the corner. Oop. And oop, 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 around the corner. And around the corner. And then I stick it down and I kind of go that way. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> so that I'm taking any glue, like these little bits that I've got caught. At all and glue on the inside squishing away from the window rather than towards the window and voila one window envelope and then on this side same thing this is top I just put my nib it's a bit more tricky because it's a big window put my nib oh, uh, under the end of it Oh, and run a line across. And then it becomes part of that piece of paper. So now you've got a fully formed envelope again, in the front and the back. But it's a swanky front and the back, because looky, looky. Huh? Closer, you'll use it as an envelope. If you want to use it as an envelope, hook over a page, hook over a page, stick it down like that, and do whatever you like. Let's go. Ta -ta, number one, only took 34 minutes. Not bad, eh? There you go. Should we do a different colour and a different shape, maybe? What have we got? What have we got? Do this one. So, same principle. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to take that bit off because we don't need all of it on this one. Oh, do we? We do actually. We are going to leave it on. Because we want it to be the back of our pocket, don't we? Don't know we do. So I just need to take a little bit off the top. There we go. 
so that it doesn't hit the fold. And tell again. Over a little lip. There we go. There it is now. There it is on the back. Yep. And on the back. Again, I'm just going to go around the edge and stick it down and then it becomes part of my back piece yep. and nothing will get in there so it'll just be, it just gives the envelope a back and then we're gonna again I'm gonna do the whole size because I'm trying to make it's the equivalent of you know when you cover an envelope and you cover it that way we're doing the same thing we're just doing it from the inside so I'm going to take that and I'm going to take that edge off and I'll keep all these little bits because they'll um, then get stamped on and used somewhere we could do one of Gail's pressing paper strips at some point, or we can just stamp words on it and overlay it on something. They'll get used anyway. We'll be able to they'll get used. So I'll just pop that in, make sure it's all the way down. And then, same again. Take my glue. And we'll go around the edge. Around the edge. Oh, up and round the last edge. And then pat it down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. And then I would just squishing it the other way because we want the glue to not squeeze out onto the tracing paper but to disappear into the ether and hold it all down Ta -da! and then on this side make sure we can still close it yeah and then just put a line across the top you don't need to glue the whole thing once there's a line across the top it ain't going anywhere is it there we go and that is our second window envelope. Are we getting the idea? Should we do a pink one? <laughs> is it making sense? <laughs> I think so. I think so. So, let's take a new page. And let me take a slither off. So it'll fit in. take a bit off the bottom I'm just going to take that plain bit off the bottom so that the writing goes all the way down again it'll get used in the collage or something somewhere but it doesn't give me the right bit of interest at the bottom of my envelope so try again slide it in all the way up. perfect Perfect. 
just like that. Yeah. I don't know if I want to take that bit off. Oh, well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. So we need to I'm gonna make a mark there and pull that out. And then try and fold that somewhere straight. Right, slide that back in. Oh, all the way down. That's the only problem with this, is you have to make sure it does go all the way down. Only because it gets caught on the on the bit you've cut out. So all the way down, all the way that way. Like that. Yep, happy with that. And then again, uh, we'll just, oh, put a bit of glue in there as well, because it's coming up. We're literally just gluing the ends. There we go. Oh. And it becomes part of the back of the envelope. No. Ta -da. And again, you only need to do the top bit. I'm just going to stick that down because that's. Um, there we go. Better. It looks like a real envelope again. Because it just becomes the back piece of the envelope automa automatically. So, we'll take another piece of tracing paper. And again, it's going to become the front of that envelope. And so, it needs to be the whole. You know, that's a bit skewed. You've probably got my head, my shoulders, my big ears, my nose, a whole lot in there. Fold that. I'm going to take my ruler to it. I am if I, am if I can get my nail on the right. I can't open it. Oh dear. Oh dear. On that line. On that line. There we go. Down there. Uh, uh, uh. We will slide it. Are you getting the hang now? He's kind of getting the. I don't know if we class this as a mass mix because I've only been four, but <laughs> just kind of the way it works. <laughs> Make a pile. I think I said before, I've got about five spring journals all on the go. Let's uh, go with Dave's kits. And Joey's. Yeah. And then on this one, no, we'll go round. Mm -hmm. Round the edge. See, I have to go quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, all the way around. So, it's going to be a big ooze there, I can tell. There we go. So, press it down, press it down, but then you're pulling it towards you because you want to ooze the glue that way. So, it goes that way. Oop, that way. So, and then. Got an envelope. Put them back. Da da. I'm quite pleased with those. I think they look good. Right, we might do what have we done? Uh, right, done one of each colour. Let's do a funky shaped one, just so you can see. The principle is the same. So that's 
not quite gonna fit so we need another one luckily i came prepared now i'm gonna go that way for this one so that the grass is in it Field, field, field on the lane, which is not in the, look at that, not in the slightest bit straight, not even a little bit. There we go, we'll try that again. Better, better than it was. And then we'll take that off. And again, I think we're going to have to take a little bit off down the side. Yep. Now, I'm going to do it on the side. Line up. And just a slither so it fits in. There we go. And then we're going to slide this on like we have with all the rods. You know, see this one's got a fold in it so it's going to be more, it's going to be more awkward I can just tell. It's not going to want to play. Push down, push down, push down, all the way down, all the way down. And done. There we go. So that's that one. We do our little trick of Around the edge, around the edge, around the edge. Uh -uh. And I'm just gonna do that as well. So it all sits flat. Like that. And then, where's my interesting bubble? That is the bubble. We'll make this fit as well. And then. Bottom. Yes. Not much talking, lots of concentrating. This one took work. <laughs> I had to think about this. I've had to make sure things fit properly, not just stick things down. <laughs> right. In sit flat, tap it down, tap it down. Make sure my envelopes are shut. And then, slightly more complicated, slightly more complicated shape, but around the edge we go. That one, and that one. Oh, coming out of it, and that one down. And round, and round, and round, and back where we began, and then stick, and then take the glue, squish it the other direction. Right, now this one is quite near the top, might not need a line of glue all the way across, but it's going to need a little bit at the end, yeah. Not going to go. We'll just, we'll do it anyway. There we go, line glue. You've probably just got a big swash of grey hair stuck in there, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I am very white haired to just after. There we go, that's that one. So, this is my little make for today. And with all the stuff that I've made so far, if you've watched any of my snatch cuts in video, at some point, I'm going to have to make so many tags, like so many tags. But hey, I'll no doubt invite you when it happens. So then the other thing you can do, if you so wish, with these, decorate them a bit, do anything you like. And that. Yep, that way, that way, that way. I think that one should go that way. And I think that one should go that way, if I'm honest. So, there's all sorts you could do. So I have... Don't want to 
So I have these kind of clustery bits that I was making for something else. Like I said, stash busting, so I'm just pulling out all sorts of everything that I've got. They're all thistles, so they can go in a thistly journal. I have got one on the go. Yep, thistles, 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 mm. dandelion. You could, if you so wished. I'm not going to because I don't like it on there. <laughs> don't ask. Ooh, hang on. No, 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 no. No, too big. Don't like them. What else have we got? I'm just literally going through piles of stuff on my desk. Ooh, ooh. Looky, looky, looky. Ooh. Man, okay. Cooking with gas now. Here we go. So you could. Oh, a little bit of music paper there, isn't it? Da, da, da. Here we go. We're off. He's off. He's tearing stuff. It's begun. I'm sorry to begin. Um, I'll use my art just because it's all I've got. Uh, it's all I've got here at the moment. Well, it's not. Everything else is in arm's reach, but this is on my desk and it's open. Let's. Uh, uh, who did that? And I've got one of these, which is the edge of some paper. <laughs> Exciting as that sounds, it is the edge of some paper. I'm just gonna so it stands out a bit. It's off one of those um, wads of computer paper that used to feed into a computer on cogs, spindles, whatever. Um, and I had a massive stack of it, all of which got cut well, a lot of which got coffee dyed. And quite often I leave these on, but also not always. Let's put that down there. I don't even know if you can see that bit. I'm, look, see, I'm doing it off camera. <laughs> Sorry. I was colouring outside the lines. That's the creative part of me. <laughs> Let's move though. I just realised you couldn't see any of that, could you? So I put a bit of music paper on and a bit of that on. And I also have, uh, I might put a bit of that on afterwards actually. I am going to put this on though. Um, I'm going to see if I can take some of that stark white off. It's just a washi sticker, but I know the white will show. And so a bit of distress means it's just not a stark, that's all. It'll still show up, but it's just not a stark. We'll pull that off. And we'll plonk it on and we'll see what it looks like. We might hate it. We might not. Oh, there we go. I'd quite like that. this which is I don't actually know what it is it's fibrous and it was kind of an ombre green and um, my friend who's a florist gave it to me I'm going to stick that down there it just gives it a bit of texture There you go. Not only have we made them, but one can also decorate them. Might actually, I want, I want, bah, bah, bah. Ah, just seen something else. So bear with, I'm just cutting out a word or two that are just on top of my, on top of my, um, I can't think of the word, on top of my, on top of my, on top, oh, on top of the box of 
<laughs> level five. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna pull that. Uh, clearly on a wonk. There we go. And then that. Oh, if I find a pig, can either. Oop, sit over a pig. That's so. Do it on a pig. A leg so. Took it into something. Good lord, you could do that. Just be enveloping its own right, put some happy mail in it, send it. But there you go. These are my spring envelopes. Um so I hope that was informative, enjoyable, something. I hope you got something out of it anyway. <laughs> I didn't talk much through it, but there you go. That's me concentrating for a change, which is not something I do often. And the light started to go now. I'm going to shut my curtain soon. It's getting dark. Um, there's like daylight bulbs. Daylight coming in. Daylight coming in this way. Because my window's there. Just there. And then on this side and this side is a daylight bulb. So that's why you're getting all the shadows. But yeah. I hope you liked. Um, I will see you all soon. In another video. Do all the stuff that you normally do, that and that, and leave comments and ask questions and poke fun and do whatever you like. <laughs> I will talk to you all soon. Bye 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 bye.